Hello everyone, I'm Lagaya Figueres, the food and dining editor for the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Today, I find myself in the Big Green Egg headquarters. Give a like if you too consider yourself as part of the cult of the Big Green Egg. In today's food section, we spotlight the Big Green Egg. Uh, it's a story by Bob Townsend, how local chefs are using the Big Green Egg. I'm gonna read you a little bit, those of you who are familiar uh, might already know this, but those who are not quite in tune with the Big Green Egg, listen up. Since 1974, writes Bob, when founder Ed Fisher opened the prototype Big Green Egg store in Atlanta, the city has been the axis mundi for the evolution of the ancient earthenware Kamado style charcoal grill. You see it right here. Nowadays, eggs are everywhere, produced in seven sizes from mini to 2XL and available in more than 50 countries. With hundreds of accessories to satisfy the passions of the most diehard of big green eggheads. So if that doesn't pique your curiosity, knowing here that we've got the, uh, uh, the headquarters of the big green egg right in our own backyard, we wanted to go inside and take a look. If you haven't visited before, there's pretty much a shrine to the Big Green Egg in their museum. I'm going to call it a museum. It's almost a shrine uh, to the Big Green Egg. We're going to get a tour of that space and learn a little bit about, more about some new products and uh, get a bit of a cooking demo and some ideas on how we can be using the Big Green Egg right now. So if you have any questions, go ahead, drop those into the comments, and we'll get those questions. And in the meantime, let's eat up on the egg. All right, we're here in... Welcome, so the, this is the retail center here, and obviously we have the museum in there, which I would like to take you and show you around. Absolutely, I am, we're in a <laughs> we go. Um, this is the machine he used to bring over. So what he was trying to do is trying to get customers in to buy the machine, and he was trying to figure out a way to get some customers to come over. So what he did is he was bringing over what back then was a commodity. So we had uh, the evolution of the egg, if you will, with all the different colors, but he finally decided on green, and today the big green egg, you know, 40 some years later. Awesome. Okay, so if you want to zone in on that center one, that is an original big green egg, 1974, yep. right? That's and it. And can you point out a few of the distinctions among the various eggs that we're seeing here? Yeah, so you could tell the pattern was a little different, the way the handles are. Obviously, it sat lower to the ground back then. Now right. they're up, so they're, you know, waist high like you normally would see when you're cooking or outdoor grilling. Uh, there were different sizes. We kind of kept that. You'll notice when we go on the store, we have seven convenient sizes, one for every lifestyle, and we could fit, you know, whether you're catering or you're a backyard guy or you're tailgating. Right. We got it all. Now, the feature, as far as the, the uh, cooking feature itself, um, can we, could we do back in 1974 all of the things that we can do now with a big green egg? So, yes and no. Um, most of the time it was for a direct grilling. You could do some smoking on it, but then they realized, oh, if we, Put a you know a deflector shield in there what we used to call plate setters now called a convector with that in there now you can slow roast you can grill roast smoke bake you can do pretty much anything you can in the kitchen outdoors with just one of these it's right. pretty impressive wow well I, first of all if you're just joining us i'm lagaya figueres the uh, food and dining editor at the ajc we're here at the big green egg headquarters in atlanta I'm with Rob D'Amico, he is the communications manager here. We're talking about the Big Green Egg. Uh, earlier today, if you pick up your copy of the AJC, you'll find a food cover story written by Bob Townsend, um, in which a few Atlanta chefs share some of their uh, favorite uses for the Big Green Egg. Now, I have to tell you something. I only moved here a couple years ago, and uh, when we were house hunting, the realtors were taking it to the backyard, and... Um, I didn't understand what these holes and all these decks were. I finally asked him, I'm like, what's up, this, what's up with this hole? And he's like, that's the space for your big green egg. So clearly this is like part of the cult of living here in the South. We got to have a space for our big green egg. So obviously it started here and you know, it's the word of mouth. Once somebody had it in the backyard in one neighborhood, then the guy next door, hey, what you cooking? You invite him over, then he bought one and then his family got one and then their neighbors got him. So it was, a, you know, it, went viral pretty quick. Right, and now we're gonna go into the next area. You're gonna show us a few of the, the, the newer models and yeah. what's happening there. So I might start out with a mini and suddenly then I get all excited and I have to go up and scale. Is that pretty much what happens? Yeah, so actually we're gonna start with this mammoth here. It's the 2XL and as you can see, it's pretty big. This is a lot 
with catering, you'll see a lot of that. A lot of the restaurants will have this as well because of the volume of food. I believe that's what Kevin Rathbun is cooking his uh, his Wagyu steak here on uh, in this photo. Yep, that is mammoth. Yeah, that is mammoth. That, that's that's a very popular one. All right, so and we're, we have, we're here in the uh, retail space section of, of the uh, most the popular Green Egg is a. <laughs> Bigger and egg large, and this is the large. This is the most popular egg that we sell right now. Okay, and our sticker price is one thousand two hundred sixty-eight. Well, that's bucks. for the whole kit. Okay. That comes with everything. So starting comes... at what would, what can I get this for by itself? Well, you you know, go to uh, the biggerandegg.com, go okay. to a local dealer, and they, okay. they're, they're pretty much the same, um, but you can find good prices at different places. And uh, but here we try to keep it at the MSRP and. Because this is the corporate. Now the office. one thing is, once you get a green egg, you're you don't need anything else, right? It's no. forever. No. So it is a good investment. The good thing about this is, yes, it is an investment. That is true. Um, what we do have is the ceramics is covered for a lifetime, 100% covered for a lifetime. You had a lifetime warranty on this. The ceramics are very thick, high heat gaskets. Uh, the charcoal, 100% natural. It lasts longer. Uh, you can go slow and low for many, many hours, 16 hours, without changing anything in there. Uh, that is very fuel efficient, uh, and it's very easy to use. A lot of people are always like, oh, well, I have a gas. I can just turn it on. Well, this is simple. You light a little charcoal starter, stick it down in the charcoal, and you're ready to go in 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very simple to use, very easy to use. And a lot of people are, you know, with the temperature and controlling the air, air cold air comes in, bottom comes out the top, warm air, and that's what, how you adjust your temperatures. But Nice. Okay, now we're gonna walk back here. We're like new features. Yes. Now, last year when I came, I, I I got a little bit of a tutorial here. Yep. One of the favorite things that I walked away with were these skewers that are flexible skewers. Yeah. That was sort of life changing <laughs> for me. Um, but there's a whole whole world of big green egg accessories and and you guys are constantly innovating so show us what you have going now. yeah so the large was on a uh, a nest over there it's called an integrated nest which comes with a handle this is the module tank the uh, tables so you can connect them and the in inserts here will go for a large or extra large so no matter what egg size you have pretty much you can take care of it with this table so you have this right here is the uh, large frame then you have the expandable sides of this, which you can then put the acacia wood in. You can do a gray, you can do like over there, they have the stainless steel. So you can do anything that you want with this in any configuration. Wow. Um, you can make islands, you can just have the one if you wanted to. Uh, it's very nice. This is one of my favorite things that we've come out with. And this is all coming out, th this came out this spring? When yeah, the yeah, okay. this is all ready to go. This is also another new piece, it's called the expander, which now gives you Two the, tiers of cooking? Yeah, so it'll give you multiple zones. You can do direct on one side, indirect on the other. You can do top, bottom, slow and low. You can actually flip this over and do Ooh. a cowboy style. Look at that, that's kind of a nice feature there. It'll all come out. And if you have an older egg and you have the convector, or back then it was called a plate setter, uh -huh. it all works with all the older stuff as well. So it's well engineered for that purpose to work with stuff that you already have right. and the new stuff. And then you can you got half moon bridge, you got the stainless steel or the um, cast iron that goes with it. Uh, so there's a lot of cool things. We have our sauces, our rubs. The rubs are uh, one of our new products as well. Um, we have the multiple sizes. So here's an XL in the table. Uh, we have the mini here, great for tailgating, sticking on the back when you're out and about. And uh, the mini and then this one, which is kind of really cool, uh, calling all tailgaters, right? Yeah, this one's really cool. So you're pointing out the uh, legs at the bottom. So we now have a portable nest for the mini max. So now when you take it out, you can put it on the ground, cook on it on waist level like you normally would. Uh, brings it up to the counter space. So really nice to have. Uh, I love this. It, it's the perfect size. I mean, it really is. You can still do everything you want to do, whether it's pork butts. I've even seen whole slabs of ribs rolled up in here or they cut them up already and cook them on here it's really cool how they do it all right now i need to talk with my husband about how we're <laughs> going to spend our money this is awesome looking if you're just joining us i'm lagaya figueras i'm the food and dining editor at the ajc we're here at the big green egg 
um, headquarters. I want to say egg quarters. Yeah, that's, that's all right. Is that all right? We egg everything up. Okay, <laughs> so we're getting eggy here. Um, they are located just off of I-85 and south of uh, Spaghetti Junction. It is the place for um, all things big green egg. We're getting a tour. We just got a tour actually of, um, of some of the older models and um, what started in 1974 and is now in um, 2018, a global hit yeah. around the country. Um, and we're one with uh, Rob D'Amico. He is a communications manager for um, the company. We just uh, learned about a few more innovations. We're walking to walk through the, uh, the rest of this retail area uh, through the Culinary Center. Yep. And we are going to start smelling some food. Oh. I know because we got a few things on the, uh, on the grill there. So You didn't come hungry, right? Uh, I definitely <laughs> saved some room. So as you can see, the rest of the retail center. And you know, like your story, you were talking about how the chefs love the egg. They love putting it in a restaurant because that's they want the best equipment in there and they know sure. that is the best equipment. So you don't have to be a chef. That's what's great about the egg. You don't have to be a chef to, to run to work one of these, to do cook on it. When you put something on it, it's always gonna come out great. Right. Uh, and the charcoal itself is kind of an ingredient, and Chef will walk you through that as well when we go out there and talk to her. Well, I love that you guys also have a forum, an online community that shares ideas on cooking with the big green egg. Everybody can like, innovate and uh, yeah. get even up their grilling game, I guess. The forum. We're smoking game. You see the forum. passion on those uh, guys. Yeah. Guys. All right, now we're going inside the Culinary Center. Hi, everyone. This is Amanda. Gio, right? Yes, very good. She is one of the culinary instructors yes. here at the Big Green Egg. How frequently are you um, offering uh, classes? We do classes two to three times a week, or we do events two to three times a week. Sometimes okay. they're public classes, sometimes they're private events. And we can find out about those online. BigGreenEgg.com. Okay, so you're going to take us out to the okay, back yeah, here where yeah. you got a whole lot happening. Where all the magic happens. Okay, let's Follow go me. there. So we got a few things going on the egg today. Um, and we'll speak up now that we're outside. Yeah. So the first one we have going is a pizza. Okay, pizza is a great thing that you can do on the egg. You can make your own dough. You can buy pre-bought dough, whatever you like. So this is our pizza here. We've got it going about 400 degrees. I'm going to slowly open this. It's called burping the egg. That way you don't burn yourself. It's a little bit of smoke kind of might come out. And I'm going to open it up. Oh, that looks beautiful. We've got our pizza going there. What do you have on there? Which are we've your toppings? Some, we've got some grilled chicken. We've got different colored peppers. We've got uh, fresh mozzarella. We put a little bit of cheddar cheese as well. Um, and then we've got some fresh herbs on there and some candied uh, red onion. And, and for those of us who cook at home and think um, cooking time, how long did it take for this to cook? On about, about, about 20 minutes Okay, is what you're looking at. So this is the one thing that's about to come off in just a minute. And then the second one is probably one of my favorite things that we do here. This is planked salmon. So this is two simple ingredients. It's got the salmon, it's got our Big Green Egg Kodiak River seasoning, and then we're glazed it with a Maploy Thai chili sauce. And planking... That's beautiful. Look at that glaze. Isn't that gorgeous? Planking is when you cook on wood to create a barrier between the fire and the food. It also enhances the flavor of the cooking, and we're cooking on cedar planks, which is extremely versatile. And then the last thing that we've got going on today is we can't have Big Green Egg without having some little barbecue, so we're cooking a pork butt. We've had it on since this morning, so I'm going to let you give a, a little look at that. So this is going here. Oh, wow. There we go. And since I've got this open, I'm going to take advantage give it a little spritz, which we like to do. And this is apple juice and water. So how many hours has this been on there so, so far? This has been on about four hours, and I'm probably going to go another okay. three or four more. If we could share those smells with you. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we've got going on today. A few things on the Big Green Egg. There's always something wonderful happening. There is. What's your latest innovation? What's your, what's your latest project that you've been messing around with in terms of uh, cooking on it? Well, that's the last thing, and I've, and I've had an assistant here help me, so let's All open right. this up and see how we're doing here. A cauliflower. Roasted Ooh, cauliflower. Look at you all trendy. But we're going to take you inside and show you the rest because we're not just stopping here. So this has some olive oil and salt and pepper, but now wait till you see what we did with the okay. rest of it. You know, y'all, this is pretty heaven out here. Just oh, it is. Big green egg after big green egg. It's like an army. <laughs> Into our culinary all right. This is where we have all of our classes. This is our stage, and this is our classroom. And we, again, we can accommodate big groups. We can accommodate small. Sometimes we just.
just do a, a chef's table around here so people will come and sit right here. Um, I've got to find out where my cauliflower girl is. Can you check and see if she's there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're just joining us, I'm LaGuyvier, so that's okay. Well, well, we can use this time wisely. Uh, I'm the dining editor for the AJC, and we're here. We're uh, talking with the folks at the Big Green Egg headquarters uh, uh, in Atlanta. We learned a little bit about the evolution of the Big Green Egg, and really the reason we're here is to uh, follow up on a story that Bob Townsend wrote in the paper today um, about how uh, area chefs um, are using the Big Green Egg these days. It's um, two of the recipes that you, three of the recipes actually that you'll find um, come from two chefs, uh, Kevin Rathbun and um, Todd Mustin from uh, Mustin Turner's. And while we're waiting, actually I'm gonna have you come back in, Rob. Um, tell, we know that coming up, you guys have a big, an annual event that people who are part of the cult of the bakery egg love to get in on, but it's limited. It is. So tell them a little bit about what's gonna be happening and how they can uh, so join in on the fun. It's Eggtoberfest. Eggtoberfest. Yeah, and it is a blast. It's a lot of fun. And when you go out there, it's, it's eggheads from all over the country, and out of the country for that matter. We're sold in 50 states, so we have a lot of those Michelin star chefs coming over here. They're all hanging out. They're cooking on the eggs. We set up about, I don't know, about 250 eggs. Okay. And then you can eat and drink all day long. It is a lot of fun, but tickets are limited. So right. And the tickets go on sale very soon. Yeah, they go on August 1st. Um, you can get your tickets. The event is going to be October 13th. Uh, so make sure you get those tickets. You don't want to miss out. It is a lot of fun. Okay, now we should so they can find they can get their tickets on the Big Green Egg website. Yeah, so if you go to biggreenegg.com, you can find all the information there. Look up uh, Oktoberfest. It's all right there. That's also where you're going to find a dealer. Links to our forums, videos, all that stuff is all. Right. all. I'm pretty sure people are going to wonder. Do you know roughly? Do you know the cost on it? Uh, I person. think the ticket is a $50 ticket. Okay, so 50 bucks, all you can eat food coming off the big green egg, oh, yeah. have a drink, and it's out at Stone Mountain Park, That's correct. correct? That's correct. Okay, so we're going to turn back to more food. Yeah, you come hungry. Yeah, come hungry. <laughs> the results of working hard on the big green egg, or making the big green egg work hard for us. That's right. So it is incredibly versatile. So you can do, what we did here was some buffalo cauliflower bites. So we grilled it and roasted it on the big green egg first and then we tossed it in some buffalo sauce, which what we just did here was hot sauce and butter. I right. like to keep it simple. Then we made some blue cheese dressing, topped it with a little fresh crumbled blue cheese, just in case you love it. And then we've got a pizza here we're about to cut, and they're bringing in the salmon. So you can do all kinds of That's things. That's awesome, right. Egg. Beyond meat, That's right? right? You can think That's big right. with the big green egg. It's the ultimate cooking experience. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you all for thank having you. us here today. Thanks Fun for talking us. with you about it. Everybody loves themselves a big green egg. Um, everyone, we usually go out and about on Thursdays, so we're glad that you could join us today. I'm Lagaya Figueres, the dining editor for the AJC, and check back next Thursday. We're going to be at Hattie B's. See you next time.